Giancarlo's constant changes of plan and additional requirements are causing major headaches for Massimiliano, the caterer and organizer. The dispute with Giancarlo, which began last night, is escalating. Massimiliano is now at breaking point. They retreat to a quiet room upstairs where they can air their differences out of the public eye. Vieni qui, un problema, quando ci manca la corrente, quello rompe i coglioni, non mi ordini una cosa, mi ordini un'altra, non ti va bene niente, io sono rotto i coglioni. Eh, non si può, non, non si può lavorare così, non si può lavorare così. In a nutshell, Massimiliano says he simply cannot work like this. Down in the kitchen, the cake, cause of so much controversy, is at last coming together, and Katie has recruited another ally. This is Stefano Morella, who um, used to work for us as a patisserie chef, and on and off still does, and he um, teaches with, uh, at our cookery school in London as well. With just four hours before the wedding ceremony, the design is still under discussion. It's going to be all separate ones. I, I don't know if there's a table for it. Well, they're doing the cake, and they're going to do it as, I think, seven different cakes. Whereas Stefano just had the bright idea this morning of doing a, a tower, which would have looked great, more wedding cakey. But, uh, you know, they're doing it, it's fine. I think it'll be all right, actually. I feel calm about it. In Stefano's hands, at last, Katie feels the cake is safe. He's a completely competent professional and um, used to working to the kind of standards that I'm used to seeing in London. I suppose I you know, live in a lovely area of Marylebone and we're very spoilt on cakes. And so I'm used to seeing things his way because he was our patisserie chef for so many years. So whatever he does, I know that I like. So anyway, they can just sort it out now. Brilliant. <laughs>